Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this episode, we are going to be installing the TP-Link Casa LED light. So I've actually had my eyes on these lights for quite some time and there was a specific reason I chose these lights because I was quite happy with the overall contrast and just a number of other aspects. You can use these lights with Alexa, with uh, Google, play and all that other good stuff uh, so these lights are going to be installed and operated by a switch by voice control and also by a phone app now when you purchase this this comes in a two meter length and then you have to then purchase additional um <clears throat> additional strips. You can purchase these strips up to 10 meters in length. Unfortunately, the overall perimeter is about 12, me 12 square meters or so, um, but you can only do up to 10 meters, which is fine because for this particular setup, we are actually gonna be having a projector screen installed and we don't want the lights to be behind there when you know it's all on, etc. So this works out perfectly fine for the um, setup that we're going for. So I hope you enjoyed the video and We'll get right into it. This is the framing for the light system. So I've got this off IKEA. Hold on. Apologies about the lighting. So we've got our wall plugs and screws. So two bags of those. Our end caps, which we won't need in this instance, and the brackets that hold the bar in place. We've got our bars and our diffuser. So diffusers on the outside, so that what that will do hopefully is make it look more um, spotless as opposed to individual light dots. And then we've got our V-shaped frames which will sit in the corner. So I'll open these up and get these fitted in place. I'm quite happy with that. I think I paid 30 pounds for this. So these will sit in the recess like so um, and then there's a corner bit that goes around and that's going to hold the spotlights all the way around so what we can start to do is get our clips in place they can be screwed on um, because I'm going straight into timber I don't need to put wall plugs in because uh, it, it will hold I'm perfectly happy with it and it's a really light material so between this the diffuser and the light itself I'm pretty confident that uh, it's not going to pull or snag so so like the legend that I am I've um, I'll split these up into brackets screws and then I'll put the plugs in there because I'm not going to need these bits so um, there's enough brackets to do four brackets per tube there being ten tubes there's four brackets per tube plus two left over the reality is I don't think you're going to need four I don't even think you'll need three um, but I will put three just to make it stable as possible um, but the weight of it will easily be able to be supported on two so right so I've just checked the length of these screws and I'm happy that these will go straight through the plasterboard and into the timbers um, so I uh, will continue to use these, make sure I've got the right bit. As you can see where I put this cable, I've just slotted this through so it comes through the other side so I know where to put the actual cable through. But what we're gonna have to do is start it there, take it all the way around and end it there. So we've started the lighting circuit and we've done this first section here up to there. So that's four strips so far. And so it'll be two strips across there and then another four there until we get to that end bit there. So now that I've done this section here, I can at least start putting the face covering on <clears throat> or the diffuser, which is this white strip here. It's got like a plastic film on the top of it. So we'll get it put in place and then we can take that film off. And 
here we go. So this is the party piece. This is the LED lights now installed and they go all the way around with the exception of this area, but there will be a projector there. So I'm quite pleased that it doesn't actually go behind because that will distort it. Um, but the great thing about these lights is it works from Alexa. Um, so Alexa, office lights green. Okay. Alexa, office lights purple. Okay. And Alexa, office lights white. So it works from Alexa. There's two different types of white settings on here. And then the great thing is we have a plug or not a plug, an actual switch, which is situated right next to my desk, which is nice. So we have three ways and then we have the app. When we go into the app, we are met with this screen here and there's a number of functions. So we've got some presets at the top um, and then we've got power, brightness, so we can adjust the brightness to make the room a lot lighter, a lot darker, and it does it by each percentage. So as you can see, the LEDs uh, adjust accordingly per brightness. Um, then we've got the different white balance. Um, so if you want it white, uh, warmer or cooler or neutral, and then you've got your color chart as well. So you can go through that. But the great thing about this is then you've got some other presets. You've got your main colors. You just want a dedicated color. And then you scroll down and you've got a number of other ones. Now, one that I really like is this Aurora one, which you'll see. And I really enjoy using this one when I'm on the spin bike or doing some exercise. Um, and this just pans all the way around and then it just can continues to adjust the color as it goes around so great light setting and as you can see this is why i wanted to pick this particular light um but yeah this is the final um view of this uh, so i hope you enjoy it and this is pretty much the end of the uh garden room build uh there's some other minor bits and pieces that uh pretty much i can't even think of what they are so i don't even think there is um but i will do a full uh beginning to end video and i'll also be doing a number of breakdowns as well alexa office lights white so I'll also be doing some other videos at some other stage because I've got a load of videos that I want to get out but I'll be doing some sound test videos which I've been documenting throughout the build so you'll get an idea of how effective the soundproofing is uh, also a cost comparison and i'll be doing a cost breakdown as well and for those that are kind of interested in sort of materials how much materials was purchased and what um, i will also be doing some kind of video about that i'm not too sure how i'll be doing that at this stage but do like subscribe uh, most importantly subscribe and i'll let you know uh, later in the series but thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one